Okay, hey guys. So, today I have a new species of moth today. And this time, instead of it just being a swallowtail butterfly or a uh, Saturnia Day moth, I, use, I don't breed butterflies that aren't uh, swallowtails. I only find the chrysalises of the ones that aren't and film them. Which is why you've seen uh, other than swallowtail butterflies on this channel. And moths that I breed are usually only Saturnia Day. But today, we have here, let's just take this, one of this hawk moth caterpillar. Hawk moths are usually characterized by their um, horn on the back of their bodies. So this one has this black horn around that yellow patch on its butt there. And this caterpillar is the caterpillar of the moth, um, the snowberry clearwing, which is a small species of moth that is, um, it looks like a bee. And it has, well, clear wings as the name would um, suggest. Now what's funny is when I was looking for this, I just stumbled across it randomly. And, uh, what am I trying to say here? I noticed that it was eating this plant, which is called snowberry. But I thought it was spice bush. And uh, around where I live, the spice bushes and the snowberries look exactly the same. Except for the berries. The snowberries are all still green berries and the spice bushes are red berries. And they all look exactly the same around where I live. So I was completely confused as to what this moth species was. And so this is the second time you've seen Sphinx Day on my channel. The first time was the first video I uploaded with the hornworms. Update on those. One pupated However, that pupae did not survive. The rest of them, for some reason, I gave them tomatoes one day and they just didn't eat it. So they're no longer alive. I failed that one, but we'll get back to that one again. I will definitely be trying to raise that one. So don't you guys worry. Um, but back to this guy. So he's very small, and I actually found a bigger one today. But I put him back on his host plant because I found... Our behemoth imperial moth. Our little behemoth right there. I found him, which disrupted me, and I thought to myself, which I kind of regret doing now. I was like, uh, well, this moth, Cap Tiller, is better than this one. I'm only going to take one of them for space reasons. I really wish I would have taken two so that I could show you a bigger one and a smaller one, but such is life. I only have this one. It's feeding quite nicely, and some of you might be in the comments going, But uh, you're not supposed to raise it in a plastic container. Okay, there are only certain species that cannot be raised in these plastic containers here. Don't do this with Monarch. Just don't do it. The caterpillars will die. Why? Because the milkweed, for some reason, creates a ton of condensation on the sides of the containers. Don't raise them into this. Just don't do it. This how, on the other hand, is perfectly fine. I put a paper towel at the bottom to get rid of any possible uh, moisture and... There's no condensation on the side of it in, in anything. It's just perfectly fine. So I actually noticed that if you notice that the plant that you're feeding your caterpillar to is growing condensation on the side of the jar, don't use this. These guys are okay for about everything that I raise. They're big enough and they have a thick enough and a good enough plastic that they uh, don't allow for like that condensation to grow. I grew milkweed in this. I mean, no, I didn't grow milkweed. I raised the monarchs in this, and they did fine. Uh, also, the Luna Moth eggs. Put an update on that one. Those escaped. 
I don't even know how they did this, but when this was closed shut, see how this latches like that? And they did that? This is what they did. When it was like this, they crawled from in here. Let me just give you a detail. When it was closed shut, they crawled up through this, came in here, they came to this spot, which is being crushed down on them between this, and they walked out of it on here on the other side. And they all escaped. Only 13 hatched, and the other 14 out of the 27 didn't. So all of them are gone. <laughs> How? How do you get out of this? So that is a new lesson. If you're gonna raise small caterpillars in a plastic bin, make sure that the lid locks down on every area. Not just here. These are for good for big caterpillars because there's no way in, just no way that they're getting through that. So, word of mouth from me. And I guess that's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.